So recently when I was in Paris and Amsterdam over the holidays, I only took this checked bag plus a carry-on and I got six coats and 12, 12 days worth of clothing. Yeah, so that's like 24 outfits, six coats, and eight pairs of shoes. Now, I'm not sure if like the clothing is that impressive because I wore a lot of stuff over and over, but the coats, oh my goodness, you guys. How many suitcases did you take? Is that all the suitcases you take? You only got there for 12 days with two suitcases. You guys lost your minds. And I thought, I have to do a video about this because I'm yelling, I'm yelling. <laughs> I'm so passionate about my content. I just knew I had to make a video about this. I'm here to share my dumb knowledge with you, whether it be about skincare or how to get six coats to Europe. Okay, so before you get started, I like to have already packed all of like my jeans, t-shirts, sweaters, undergarments, all those things in the side that has like the two big clamps. Um, and then the zipper side is where our outerwear is going to go. This video isn't about like how I pack everything else. It's really just about the outerwear portion of it. So I'll kind of show you what it looks like, but I'm not going to like dive deep into that. You also want to have um, your coat stacked like pancaked. So like I call it, you can also call it roadkill. When I worked at Abercrombie, that's what we called it. I love that I'm referencing my retail days at Abercrombie for this video. Um, so you'll start smallest coat to biggest coat. So like leather, denim, um, little puffy coat, medium puffy coat, super puffy coat, longer coats on top. Now also I'm going to preface this by saying Mimi's fur coat, the one that was in a lot of my pictures, I always wear that onto the plane because A, it's worth a lot of money and I don't want it to get lost in a piece of luggage and B, because it's the biggest and it, it's just like a waste of space and it's very heavy. This is my longest one. Just lay them out flat, fold in the sleeves, fold them how they make the least amount of puff. And then you're gonna fold this the length of your suitcase. And you'll almost like fill out the bottom with the biggest one. This is the key, especially if you have puffy coats. Go through, if you have a puffy coat, when you lay on it, it'll go like, like kind of like when you're trying to take all the air out of like an inflatable like beach toy. Just lay on it and get all the puff out, okay? This fits perfectly inside this and if it has like a collar fold up the collar onto like the edges so you're filling out every corner of this now you're going to take your next puffiest coat fold in the sleeves don't let them overlap because then that's just going to add more bulk and you're going to do this one the opposite way so whereas the collar of the leopard coat was at the top there now i'm going to turn this one this way because I folded up leopard from this way and I'm going to fold back pink from this way and I'm going to do the same thing fill out the entire suitcase bring the collar up pat it down lay on it a little bit and see I still have like a ton of room okay now the next puffiest coat now this one I think is about the width of of that, so I might save the sleeves to fill in the sides. Uh, yeah, that's the right way, because collar went the other way last time. I'm gonna make sure that collar is tucked up underneath. The shoulders kind of go into those upper corners. Okay, she's in. Now I have a ton of room down here because this jacket is shorter than the length of my coat, so I'm gonna use that in a second, and you'll see how. Now I've got denim. Since she's shorter, I'm gonna fold her all the way in half. And I'm gonna fill her in where that extra space was down here. Okay, she's right there. Let's lay on them. Make sure they're roadkill, flat like pancakes. And then my last jacket, I always think a leather jacket helps everything just flattened down for some reason. Actually, I'm not gonna fold her in half. I am going to fold her in thirds because I want her to fill out the entire width. So collar is gonna go up there and protect the fur so it doesn't get stuck in the zipper. And that, my friends, 
is how you get six coats to Europe. You're kind of impressed, aren't you? I mean, I really am. And I don't really even think it's a hack. I think it's just the technique and like measuring everything out and making sure you're maximizing the most of your space. Um, when you saw that picture from the train station when I had this and the carry-on, all the shoes and all the toiletries were in the carry-on. All the clothes are in this one. Now I use packing cubes, but only for undergarments. So like bras, underwear, socks, tights. And I take a second one flat underneath and I put all the dirty stuff in that so I can keep them separate. I then do everything else in sections. So I've got like gloves and hats here, workout clothes here, jeans and leather here, t-shirts here, sweaters here. And then when I fold, I still have so much room and that's because everything over here is flat. This gives me like some room just to throw in those last minute things that I always do. I mean like I know I've said this like twice already but I'm very impressed with this technique. Um, I travel to Europe a lot in the winter. I've actually never been there in the summer and I travel to New York a lot in the winter. So if you're somebody who's going skiing or who's going to Europe or who just really wants to like show off your baller outerwear, I know this video is gonna come in handy for you. Hey, if you wanna see any more of these videos, whether they be travel related, skincare, beauty, fashion, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you never miss a thing. Also, head over to currently.com for even more. I'll see you next time. Happy trails to you until we